Hello, in this presentation, we will take a look at preparing a sales graph within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitar Problems. If not, that's okay. We're going to be taking a look at how to create a sales graph. We currently have the home page open, which can be found at the company and home page. If you have access to the backup, you can restore the backup at the file and restore tab. We also have the open windows open, which can be opened at the view and open window list. We're going to be looking at how to create a sales graph report in this uh, presentation. In order to do that, first we're going to go to the report drop down and we're actually going to go to the report center and find it within the report center. So let's select the report center and we should be on the standard tab here. We could change the view to a list, but if we're looking for a graph, we might want to keep the visual here. It'd be easy to see the graph once we find it. So we're going to scroll down here to the left-hand side, and we're going to go to the sales item. So we want to go to sales, and then we're going to scroll down and see if we can find this graph. There it is, the sales graph. So we're going to get the nice visual of the sales, so when we present sales, clearly it's nice to have a graph. Uh, it, it used to be that we'd have to, you know, export the information possibly to Excel and create the graph or whatnot. Now QuickBooks, of course, will have this feature and we can create these nice graphs and implement them into our presentations if we so choose. So we're going to go ahead and run this report. I'm going to maximize the screen up top. And you'll note that the layout looks a little bit different here. And you'll note, of course, that there's no information and that's a little worrisome. But that's because, of course, it's a date thing. It's a date problem. We don't have any information in this current date range. You'll note there's no date range up at the top. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different of a layout. So what we're going to have to do first, of course, will be to change the dates. So we're going to select the dates. And I'm going to make the dates from 01012120221, meaning january 1st 2021 to february 28th 2021 then we'll select ok and here is our graph so we've got the bar graph and uh, the pie chart here now the bar graph of course only has the two months in it so it's not uh, a very significant if we had the whole year it would be a much more populated bar graph and then we have the pie chart down here which is going to be the a nice visual and it breaks out the information at this time by item, meaning the inventory items that we're that we have that we're selling, or uh, the sales items that we have if they're service items as well. So we see here in this case our biggest item being the rent for the music, uh, Jody guitar lessons, Angela guitar lessons. So here's the lessons here, and then the sales of the uh, ELP, uh, the Wildcat, the uh, GSB. These are going to be the uh, actual equipment, the guitars that we are selling in this example. In order to save this information, we note that we don't see the normal exporting information up top to export to Excel. We do have the printing option up here, and but we don't also see the print to the PDF, which might be useful. So what we're going to do here is show how to print this with a uh, external PDF printer. So you'd have to download a PDF printer and then print it in that format. The reason we want to show you this is because it's very useful so for something like this and any type of program where... It doesn't give you the printing option and uh, you need to print it somehow or it doesn't give you a save to PDF option and you would like to save it as a PDF. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and say the print here. And uh, then I have the drop down. This is going to be my normal printer. If I select another printer, if I have a printer uh, that is a PDF printer, such as the Qt PDF uh, Writer, if you look that up, you can uh, download that printer. And it'll put a driver uh, in on your computer so that you can print to uh, a pre PDF printer. And then by selecting that, once we select print, it will print to the PDF printer. So I'm going to go ahead and say print that. And uh, then it will print and open up a PDF file. And we're going to save this somewhere. So here's a little saving screen. I'm going to scroll down and put it on the desktop and go down to where we want it, which is the Get Great Guitars problem here and I'm going to put it into a new section so I need a new folder and I'm going to call it chin 4 and 
and there's that and then I'm just going to say we'll call it the sales graph and there will be that information if we were to open that up then we could go find that and open it up and see what it looks like we're going to open up the sales graph and here we have it so there's our sales graph here in a pdf format so clearly you may want it uh, in, in some other format you can of course cut and paste it uh, i would recommend using something like word if you were to, to cut and paste something like this and there's a nice option within word to cut and paste in all the excel um, the microsoft office programs which is the screenshot so if you wanted to select the screenshot and either pick the screen or uh, screen clipping this is one way you can get this information easily into something like uh, a powerpoint without um, without too much work you just uh, screenshot it and the powerpoint as well as word uh, microsoft office products typically have that uh, that feature which will allow us to cut the screen and paste it fairly easily the other option we have here note that this is going to be sales by item we may also want sales by customer and they give us a nice little toggle up top to go to the by customer sales same sales number same sales total this total is what would be on uh, the profit and loss for sales and now it's just broken out by customer. So music store stuff, our biggest customer, Lynn Jackson, Jill Gonzalez, Penny Jones, Star Lee, in that order going down in terms of the sales. And we get this nice chart once again. I'm going to go ahead and print this out. We're going to say print. And we're going to print it once again to the PDF just to give that example and print that. And we should then get the PDF option. And I'm just going to call this sale. We should, probably should have been more specific. Sales graph by uh, customer here. And then if we save that, we get the sales graph by customer in this format. Uh, and that will give us just a PDF just to give us an idea of how we can get this data uh, to be exported or in some other format. Clearly, the clipping of the screen and keeping the color uh, is a nice option to have as well if we're going to put this into a presentation.